Hey guys, in this video, I'm breaking down the three-step process to optimizing your images for your Shopify store. And I'm gonna be covering both drop shipping as well as your own D2C brands in order to be most effective for search engine optimization, but also for your customers. So let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, agency owner, e-commerce brand owner, and in this video I'm breaking down how to optimize your images for Shopify based on my e-commerce stores and the exact process my agency uses when we bring on a new client. And before we get started, my channel is growing. I love creating content for you guys. I want to help e-commerce brand owners grow their businesses. So give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into optimizing images. All right, so there's many questions all the time about how to optimize your image correctly. And we all know that there are multiple different apps for Shopify that will compress, minify all of your images in order to retain the quality and reduce the size. Because at the end of the day, we need to retain the quality for the user experience and for our brand. But on the other side, we need to minimize the size of them because of search engine optimization and again, user experience so your site loads quickly. So the more apps you have, actually the slower your site's gonna load just because of the size. So we're essentially like one of those insurance companies that says, hey, we'll help with your upset stomach, but you right might result in death. Well, that's essentially the same thing is that the problem we're looking to solve doesn't necessarily need to be solved by another app. So let's get into my three-step process to optimizing any image for your Shopify store. So as you can see, this is my next e-commerce store that we're just about to start launching, but I am a stickler for brand consistency. And so when all of my images need to have a white background, and I'll be honest with you guys, this is a drop shipping store, so I'm sourcing from multiple different US suppliers in order to get my images. So the problem with that is some of them have copy on the images that I don't want. Some of them have gray backgrounds. And so we have literally done this process within the last 10 days, probably 400 times based on the current number of products that we have. So let's get into how to first step download your images because you can't right click and download from Shopify because it's a WebP file type, which will not be a JPEG. So first step log into every single product that you have, you open the image, and you download the image. I'm not saying anything new here, you guys probably know how to do this. So because you'll see that this image actually has a gray background, which again, stickler for brand consistency, I don't want that, I want a white background. So my first step is going to be opening up my Adobe Lightroom. And if you guys don't have Lightroom, I think there's a free seven day trial. So if you have a select number of photos that you want to do, you can still follow this exact step by step process. But this is the way to do it. So get Lightroom. It's super easy to use. And I'm going to show you some quick hacks. So from here, we are going to just drop in a new image, the one that we just downloaded. So desktop, this dog picture, with the gray denim fleece and drop it in. It's going to be down here. So once we're in Lightroom, the goal is to reduce that gray background. And there might be a different way of doing this, but this is just the way we do it. It's how I've done it in the past. We're essentially going to select a subject where Lightroom is going to autom automatically identify your product or the subject of your image. But you'll see here, it's not covering everything. So what we wanna do is use the brush tool to just color in the rest of the subject that we do not have. You can go a little over, it's not a big deal. So from here, we're gonna click the top right, invert, and then mask one is now selected that background. I do want to subtract a little bit of this because you're seeing slight variation on the actual subject of the dog, which again, we don't want that. And then we're going to increase 
the exposure and the white balance. Now, I'm moving quick right here, so we actually need to do a little bit better of a job because again, I'm a stickler for brand consistency, but overall, you guys are seeing the point. Now, you can skip this step if you have a pure white background already. Again, I said I'm drop shipping these products, so the variations are across the board, but you can see by scrolling through all of these that we have completely eliminated all of the gray backgrounds. So that's step one, is going in and removing the gray background for my brands. Again, you can do whatever you want. Next step, we're going to right click on this and we're gonna click edit in Photoshop. Now here's where things get important because here's the actual step that we are reducing the image size while maintaining the quality of the image. For this, you wanna make sure that your images are going to be in the same size as all of them. So generally what I will do is actually take an image, so copy this image, drop it in here, and ensure that the size is the exact same. So we'll reduce that slightly, and we're in the middle, product is in the middle, and that has made sure that all of our images are a perfect square for Shopify. So going back to this beautiful dog with his denim leather jacket, if you're liking this video so far, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'm here to help e-commerce store owners grow your businesses through digital marketing, search engine optimization, Facebook ads, and Google ads. So now that we're in this step of the process, it is pretty straightforward. We're gonna go to File, Export, Save for Web. This is really important because you're going to have the control over the image size. So, what they don't tell you when you are drop shipping is that the images that you are using are massive. When I say massive, I'm talking about like this image right now is a 1.096 megabyte image. I have 400 products, four images per product, which means we have 1600 images just on the products that are huge. So we need to reduce the size of all of them. And I'm telling you guys this because it's super important. This is how you're gonna be successful. Make sure you have the foundation built. Do not slack in this. We've probably put 12 hours into optimizing images for this website. It is vital for the longevity so that once you have 800 products, you don't have to do all 800 because your site is going to get so massive. So back to this. Right now you're seeing the images are 1920 by 1920, which means we have the perfect square, but I want all of my images to be 800 by 800. By doing that, we're still seeing this top right corner, the quality is very high, but we have 242 kilobytes. In the world of search engine optimization, it's tr the best to basically have it at 100 kilobytes. And if you're wondering about Shopify SEO more in depth than just images, click this video right here where I did a 25 minute video all about search engine optimization for Shopify. Okay, so now we have this image. We have 242 kilobytes. We need to get it to 100. We have the perfect size ratio, 800 by 800. We need to start reducing the quality by small incremental changes in order to get it to that 100 kilobytes. So right now we're at 87. Let's see if we go down to 70. Brings us down to 151. Let's do 55. And we're at 110. So honestly, 110 is fine. It is what it is. There's not gonna be that much of a difference. And so we're going to save that image. I'll just save it to my desktop. And if you really wanna be good at search engine optimization, the details are important. So for this product, we're going to do dog in a denim jacket, dog store. We're gonna save the file based on what the product is. So now that we have the image uploaded correctly, we're going to just drag and drop it into Shopify and we're gonna move it to where it is. So you can see the difference between the two images. We have the pure white background and then we have the gray background. And so in terms of the rest of the business, now we're good. We have these 
product, once we complete the rest of these, optimized. Now, what we need to do is add alt tech. So this is going to be dog in a denim jacket. Copy that. We have, what's the name? Dog, denim dog jacket. Denim dog jacket photo one. Save alt text. And that is it. That is how you properly optimize your images for search engine optimization on Shopify. I hope you guys found this video useful. I know there are a lot of steps, but remove that first step if your backgrounds are already white. It is key to building a brand that is cohesive, concise, and effective because your users now, when scrolling through your store, are going to see the same. And it's very important. So make sure to follow me for more tips. Check me out on Instagram where I put out short form content all the time, official underscore Chris underscore Murano. And make sure to subscribe to this channel where I'm helping e-commerce store owners grow their businesses with digital marketing, Facebook marketing, social media, search engine optimization, content marketing, and all of the things in between. So I'm here to help. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions.